polished beef, polished for pennies. And we're so excited because our sister had passed the boards. And to celebrate, we're throwing her a Parisian style brunch and we're making crepes. And I'll never forget, it was my birthday last year where I came down and Christy had Parisian music going on and everything was Paris themed and gorgeous and red and blue and white. And I figured since it's Jet Set Go July, it's the perfect month to celebrate that sort of a theme. So what, we're, uh, well, what we've done so far was, I know a lot of things probably look familiar because we featured a lot of them on the blog already. And that's what's so great about being polished for pennies. Necessarily, you don't have to go out and buy something completely new. You can use already what you have. So if you look at the table, we're using uh, the Father's Day placemats that we had used for our thank you table for Dad. These were very inexpensive at Marshall's. I think for all four of them, they were like $9. Beautiful wine glasses, clear glass plates. These are from the dollar store. And I love because if you break it, you don't really care. Um, and you might even recognize this as well. This is also uh, something that we featured on the blog that we got at Marshall's. So we fab found it. And that was literally like an under $6 centerpiece. I think it was like a $5 centerpiece. So. The thing that I thought would be cool about doing a party like this or a brunch like this for your friends or for your family was that you can make it interactive. Very inexpensively, you can buy a griddle just as this. I think it's like $20 at Macy's or something like that. Um, and you can set up your table to where you're kind of being the presenter. You're the hostess, you're making everyone feel comfortable, they can sit and relax and enjoy their drinks, and you can really prepare a beautiful meal, and in this case we're going to make crepes. So the first thing that I did was I made sure that I put my electric griddle on the right temperature. So for pancakes, this says about 375, so that's exactly what I did. And then I made a very simple pancake mix. It was one of the ones where you add some egg, oil, and it's all together already. But I watered it down a little bit. And the reason I did that is because the consistency of a crepe is really, really thin. And you really want to try and get your crepe paper thin. Now, because we're polished for pennies and I didn't go to culinary school, you don't have to worry about it being perfect. And I think just your friends and family will appreciate the effort no matter what. So again, get your griddle to the right temperature. We've watered down our pancake mix. And what I like to do is, is instead of using a spray, because sometimes it has that really gross taste, I like to get a little butter and put it on a paper towel. And then I grease my griddle like that. Then what I'll do is make sure that your crepe mix is nice and mixed. And then I'll take probably about a quarter cup, if that, and in a circular motion, thin it out on my griddle. Now, don't be alarmed if you get like breaks in it, because again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And what I'm doing is I'm actually using this flat spatula to really smooth it out and continue to make that circle. Because you want to try and get it as flat as possible. And again, it's not perfect and it doesn't have to be. If anything, for this sort of a brunch, I would definitely advise getting one of these spatulas. They're pretty inexpensive. I think I got this one at Macy's. It's the Martha Stewart brand. And um, you can use this to ice cakes. It's great for flipping things, whether you're flipping eggs or pancakes or crepes in this case, um, you know, to smooth out dips after maybe you've put them in your container or presenting them on the table. But it's a great item to have and it sort of makes you feel very professional, like it's one of your tools that you have in your tool belt. Um, well, at least that's what it makes me feel like. Uh, but anyway, so to know when your crepe is done, you're going to see all these bubbles just as you would if you were cooking a pancake. I mean, that's the point, right? So we're seeing these bubbles all on the side here. And now what we're going to do is start to loosely pick up the ends. And the great thing about this spatula is that literally it slides right underneath. So once you feel like you've got your crepe moving a little bit more, You're literally just going to get a good hold of it and give it a flip. And it has that gorgeous golden brown color on it and that's what we're looking for. So then literally just give this a couple more seconds. It doesn't take long. 
And in the meantime, I'll talk about some of the toppings that you can use for a brunch like this. So crepes, since we were going French, a very French style to make your crepe is to literally lay your crepe, put a little bit of uh, white sugar and lemon juice. And that's already one way that you can serve a crepe. Another thing you could do is we, of course, my favorite, Nutella. Um, we took Nutella out of its plastic jar and put it in this really pretty glass jar just to make it look a little bit fancier. But Nutella with berries and strawberries, whether blueberries, blackberries, that's also a really great idea. You can do lemon and honey, you can do butter and powdered sugar, or you can treat it like a pancake and literally whip out the Aunt Jemima and, uh, and you know infuse a little bit of Americana in your brunch. But literally, it's that easy to create a crepe and it's bubbling and beautiful and you can see how thin we actually got this. So last but not least, if you're having cocktails at your brunch, um, I googled because we love Google and we can find everything there, uh, French liqueurs. So what you can do is to make a really cool mimosa is orange juice, a little champagne, and maybe add a drop of Grand Marnier, or you can even use Contra in it. It's just like these little small ideas that really infuse the theme of the brunch and really will get your guests feeling as if they're in Paris, even if it's in Philadelphia, no matter where you are. Uh, and. Um, Really, that's it. It's that simple. And as I kept saying throughout this whole video, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be polished. And this video, as well as all of my tips and tricks, will be on www.polishforpennies.com. And last but not least, a big congratulations to our sister Christy for passing the boards. We hope that we will celebrate and just keep this momentum going for a very long time, at least till we're done our champagne. And I'm sure we'll be feeling good after that. So see you later, everybody. Stay tuned on the blog and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. We'll be posting some photos as well. Au revoir.